Hello, friends. PMC friends. Friends of the PMC. I'm here, and I'm interviewing Dom, coach of... What's up, Rich Quizzes? Sorry? Yep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Rich Mary Quizzes. But welcome to the league, Mr. Sir. Thank you, thank you. And, and I do just Glad want to point out, you drafted Garchomp and Mian Xiao, which were the two MVPs of my last season team, and... Ah. Oh, I love both of those Pokemon very much. They held a special place in my heart. Yeah, same here. Well, not Garchomp. I've never used that. And I actually didn't think I would ever be drafting it, but uh, me and Shao was probably one of my MVPs from the first league I ever joined and won. And it was that, like, I just love regenerating it so fast and high jumping just blows things back. It's so, it's so fucking mindless. It's just kick it really everything. Is. Watch my match with JSpex last season. It's just, I didn't have to think. I just had to click high jump kick and everything got 2 KO'd. Everything. Just pray you don't miss. That's literally it. Pretty much. And I actually had, I had pretty good luck with it. Was not missing, mm -hmm. except um, <laughs> I missed a high jump kick in my last game of the season, which kicked me out of playoffs. So ah, uh, <laughs> that would happen. Yeah, I mean, and I'm and I'm salty about that, but I also played that game really cocky because I had a lead in the beginning, and if I hadn't made some of the actual mistakes I made, I probably could have won. So I didn't give myself yeah, well, the miss. Yeah, if you live and you learn, shit happens. Pokemon. Yep. Um, but what are your thoughts on the PMC, sir? Uh, I definitely like the level of competition that's coming in. I know a lot of the guys just from being around. I was in uh, the UPC for a little while until it reset, so I've met a lot of the people through there. Uh, you know, j Specs, I've known him for a little while. I actually hopped into one of his streams the first time I met him, and we were just battling around. And he's a cool guy, and uh, like Bird uh, Sketch, I met him when we went to DC to meet Nappy, so it's going to be really cool uh, to play against these guys because I haven't played with them in league format before, but I have, uh, like, I know them, so it's going to be really fun. You were in the UPC... Oh, you were in Tyler's UPC team. Yeah. Um, I mean, Season 3 just started, and I'm in Season 3 now, so I mean... Nice, man. You should totally... Yeah, I, the only reason I stopped that was just because I had already gone undefeated for six, uh, six weeks, and I didn't really have the time to invest in resetting and redrafting, and I was like, eh. Uh, like, it, that was around the time finals and stuff was happening, too, and I had to get ready for school, so... Wait, was that... Were you in Season 2 or Season 1? 2. <laughs> Oh, so you were in the Roshan era of the UPC. Yeah. But Ty Tyler has it in the back now. That was that's funny. I can't believe he just gave Roshan the league. Um, but um, I mean, you already said you uh, knew a lot of the people from the PMC, and um, so this question already kind of answers itself. But uh, how did you find out about the PMC? Um. Well, I knew Verd was in it, and I knew Lucky Lad TV from before he'd been in Leeds with me. And I knew he was in that, and I knew Verd was in there. And then, like I said, I met J Specs when I uh, popped him on a Vista channel just because I knew him through uh, Lucky, and I just checked him out. And then uh, I heard the PMC applications were dropping, and he, uh, you know, DM'd me and said, hey, the season's about to start. Uh, go ahead and throw out an application. I was like, yeah, for sure. I definitely want to get back in. Like, I like this crowd of people as well, and I knew a lot of the same people would be in there. So uh, it was a no-brainer. I just signed up. Yeah, definitely. Um, group of people here is pretty cool. Um, yeah. But what are your thoughts on League Format as a whole? Um, I'm really interested to see where Gen 7 League Format is coming. I know that a lot of people haven't really seen, uh, I guess, the potential of a lot of the changes and whatnot. Like, for example, Porygon Z, I feel like that's going to be one of the most crazy powerhouses in League Format just because conversion with the ability to boost all of your stats and change your type is going to be just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, plus, you have all of the new Sun and Moon Pokemon, of course. Uh, you've got two new Solid Spinners in Delmize and uh, Serena, and that's just going to be a really cool thing for people to try to grab quickly. And also the ban lists that are going to be coming up. I'm really interested to see where that will go. And just, you know, what the top tier things from the new generation are going to be. Yeah, uh, and I find it interesting that John didn't ban any Z moves, so while most leagues are insta banning, especially the plus one on every stat boosts, um, this this season is going to kind of give an example of what happens when you don't ban them, so you can actually make a judgment on whether or not they should be banned. So yeah, uh, for sure. If if they um, break the league, then you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's kind of like how an Aura Asset, early Aura Asset, when like Coupon Bound and Mega Metagross were a thing, uh, it seemed like that was the first thing people always wanted to draft, and I think it's okay for, like, this is the first draft league, uh, in this league at least, for Gen 7, and I think it's okay to throw in some things that will probably be banned later, but just to see why they should be banned, yeah. but at the same time, I feel like that kind of discredits the people that do draft them, because 
for example, um, when I started my league career, people whoever had Mega Metagross pretty much automatically made it to playoffs. Um, and that's not necessarily to discredit their skill as a player, but there will always be the people that say, oh, well, you only made it because you had so-and-so, or you only made it because you had this. And, I mean... If you know how to use it and you're good with it, then that's great. If you don't know how to use it and you're still good and you're winning these battles because of it, then, I mean, regardless, you get a chance to learn. But I just don't like that, uh, you know, there will always be the people that will say that. Yeah, and people, like, in the in the D-League, um, I had Meta- Mega Metagross and Adam the Bee's Knees had a Genesect, and he destroyed every person every week with Genesect, and he made it to playoffs, and everyone's like, you only made it to playoffs because of Genesect completely... Ignoring the fact that Adam is still a really good player, Genesect or not, mm. and they kind of shit on him for it, but oh well, he didn't he didn't win the championship, so I guess it's okay. Yeah. Um, but you already mentioned some of your prior league experience, but do you want to go in depth to that? Um, well, I started in the P or I started out with the PBL, which was uh, Eric. Uh, he has a Colorado Mar- uh, Colorado Mammoth Finds in the TMC. Um, he made the PBL, and that's where I started out. And I was actually able to win my first season. And then I branched off and met some cool guys, and we formed a league called the NBA. And we did a couple seasons of that. And just like networking and stuff, uh, I joined the EPC for a little while. Um, then I got into the GPC, and now I'm in the PMC. And I'm trying to. I'm also in the PSCA as well, and that draft actually starts tomorrow. And you know, I just like networking and meeting new people and joining more leagues. Uh, eventually, I'd like to get a shot at going to like maybe the NPL minors and get in the NPL one day, um, as well as starting my own league. I have a cool idea for one, but you know, time and time management, and everything is not my strong suit. So who knows when that'll happen? Oh yeah, definitely. Running a league, especially if you want to keep it alive, requires a lot of your time. But um, yeah. Uh, the NBA, uh, that might be a different NBA, but was that run by the Fresno Flygons guy? Uh, no, the NBA is just, it's pretty much a friendly, we didn't really, uh, promote it or anything, but, um, ironically, a lot of the people that are in there, like, uh, my friend Johnny, Aster J, if you've heard of him, uh, yeah. okay, that's where friend. I knew Aster from, okay. Yeah. It's pretty much all of our friend group, uh, we don't really do stuff outside of there for the NBA, but... We've all kind of supported each other and helped each other network and everything, and we've actually uh, helped each other advance a lot. Like, Aster got up to 500-something subs in three months, and I got up to 220, like, just with us helping each other out and everything. Yeah, and I mean, I, I um, you, you mentioned the NPL. I, I just got to the NPL Miners tryouts, and I met Aster there. Yeah. So that's really cool. Um, I think I think we're in the same division? I'm not sure. Um, I haven't really looked at it, but you, you might be. But yeah, it's really cool. Um, and yeah, that's, it must have been a completely different NBA. I was thinking about it. Th- pretty sure they upload and shit for that. League. Yeah, I know there's another one. It's I think it's like season six or something, but it's crazy. Um, yeah. But uh, what do you feel like is your biggest strength when it comes to battling? Um, My biggest strength is that I can read people pretty well, like after the first couple turns. And uh, my biggest weakness, I'm sure you're going to ask me that right after that, but my biggest weakness has always been drafting, like the actual drafting of the Pokemon, but uh, that's where I kind of have to cover up with my strength and uh, playing as well as like team building. Like I can make some really creative, like crazy sets. Like uh, I played a guy, in, uh, Merc, I don't know if you ever heard of him in the NPL and yeah. in the GPC, and I made the most crazy team with the weirdest sets, like Calm Mind Landers. Um, just, it was just ridiculous, and he got kind of thrown off by all of my sets and I had to pretty much make every Pokemon a lure just because the draft I had made was so bad that I had to do that. <laughs> but I'm really able to uh, throw people off and kind of make sets that apply to other teams pretty well. And I have a good support group, like I said, with my friends. Yeah. Um, did Did you apply for NPO Miners? Uh, no, I didn't. I was already in three leagues, so I didn't really have time for it. Uh, well, if you get the chance to, you totally should. Because you'll probably, be w- probably make it, to be honest. I, I will one day. Nice. Um, and yeah, the weakness was the next question, so good call on you. Um, <laughs> but how do you usually go about your drafting, like if you make a plan? Um, well, that's the thing. Um, I'm really notorious for never planning anything because, like I said, I'm really busy. So almost all of my drafts and all of my prep happens 15 minutes before it's supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, I didn't even know the draft was happening when it was happening. I was like, well, I better uh, pony up and figure something out. Uh, but... Normally what I try to do is at least get a good offensive core, and that actually bites me in the butt because I'm one of those, even my team build on ladder, I really do not like 
wasting a slot with the spinner and hazard removal. So a lot of times I'll have a really, really offensive team, but I'll have no defense defensive backbone whatsoever and pretty much negligible hazard control but this time i tried to settle it down and not say okay let me get a defensive core that can like double his offensive so i did no well, dragon fairy steel garchomp floor just uh mega sizzler and i just think those are really solid together like in any league draft period and i was like all right i have my backbone now i can start playing around a little bit and uh i just really like having a wall breaker because i get really frustrated having to play defensively and keep switching i like to just blow through other people's teams <laughs> so that's pretty much uh my go-to thing man it's like we're twins i saw your team yeah. I, was, I saw your team and i was like this is a team i would draft minus floor just because i hate floor just. um and you think exactly like i do nice um but uh, what do you feel like is the most overrated mod in the format? Kind of cut out there. Would you? Can you repeat that one more time? Man, that's happening again. Okay, uh, let me make sure. Yeah. Um, what do you feel like is the most overrated mod in the format? Uh, I said I heard. What do you feel like is, and then the format. What was the word in between? Oh, it seems like I'm lagging out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it looks like my connection was down for a minute there. Okay. Cool. Try this again. What do you feel like is the most <laughs> overrated mon of the format? Oh, okay, all right, I got you now. Um, most overrated mon. Um, I feel like it'd be something pink, like maybe <laughs> Cliff Fable. I feel like uh, not even Cliff Fable. I don't really, I don't feel like people get that that much. Um, actually, I gotta say Mew because people mm -hmm. when they say on paper that Mew is really good, and they're like, oh, Mew can have pretty much any move you want it to have. Yes, that's true, but Mew almost always gets put in a defensive or support position, and even when you do put it in an offensive position, it's kind of like uh, mediocre, I would yeah. say. So, yeah, I feel like everyone says on paper Mew's pretty good, but it's not really amazing. This, that's like the fifth person that said Mew. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Yep. Um, they were writing it to Dick like a year ago, but people are kind of realizing ah, it's 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 like the epitome of I do everything just not very well yeah jack of all treats master of none yep um, but on the flip side what do you feel like is um, a really underappreciated mon uh, I'm gonna have to go with my boy me and chow actually hey uh, hey high five yeah. hey <laughs> and, and people also overlooked it it has uh, really good or not really good but usable special attack mm -hmm. and uh, for example grass now with the life warp can 2 ko hip out on and uh that's a really cool thing to be able to say you can do. And high jump kick with a, I think, reckless banded high jump kick and Oko, the standard mega blastoise, which isn't necessarily used defensively, but that's still like kind of an impressive feat to say you can do because it's pretty bulky. Yep. And it can just tear through teams. It's fast enough for the scarf and reckless or a generator. It's still strong enough to just punch holes through things. And it's just a really good pivot, and you can play around with it. sets like Sash Regenerator, and it's really cool. I like it a lot. It's it's an extremely difficult mod to prep for, and it's such a fun mod to use. But uh, John also said that, that for the unappreciated mod, and I was like, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> but uh, what expectations do you have for yourself in this season? Um, well, since I feel like my draft isn't as bad as it normally is, and I know I can put them to work, the only thing I have uh, to say negative is that I wasn't able to grab a single 7th uh, gen mon, so we'll see what that does to me, <laughs> but I think I have the tools to do well, and I know I have the uh, ability to, it's just going to come down to, you know, putting the time in to test my teams out and take my time when I'm playing, and I'm just really looking to have fun, to be honest, I just don't want to get, uh, you know, decimated, that's all I care about. Mm. I think you can do that, but all the, also the competition in this season is probably the highest it's been so far. Probably. Yeah, I would say so. Definitely say so. Yeah. Um, but do you have any inspirations when you're doing your battling? Um, not really inspirations per se. I just really, like, I got really bored uh, last generation with just bladdering and just standard play and draft league format just gets my blood going. Like, it's really fun to do that every week. It's like all I want to do is play draft league format, so just the challenge of it, it's kind of like chess, and it's like, I don't know, it's just my favorite way to play the game, and you can't really get much better than that. Yep. Good point. Um, well, uh, thank you for your time. I know, like you said, you're a busy guy, so it's mm -hmm. kind of difficult thank to you squeeze the interview. Um, 
Oh yeah, I've got like two and a half hours to go to port. Um, but I have one last question for you, Dom's game room of the Richmond Decoises. Who is going to be the champion of PMC Season 3? Mm, I have no idea. I'm not going to be cocky and say it's me because that most likely won't happen. But uh, You have to I'd say, say you cocky. No, nah, I'm not a cocky person. I don't really like cocky people, so I try not to be that way. I'd say Verd has a good shot of doing it again. I know Verd. I know he's a good player. We've, uh, I won't say we have a rivalry necessarily, but every time we play, it's really funny. So, uh, yeah, I I'm looking forward to seeing what he does. It's You can tell you have a really nice group of people when, like, I think two people said me. And I think I, think I might have forced them to say me. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, nothing wrong with that. If you stand by your judgment, then you, you push for it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, go ahead and check out Mr. Dom's Game Room's channel. And uh, like and comment and sub and all that good shit for this channel and stuff. And um, we'll see you for the more interviews and power rankings and other analyst stuff. So, thank you for watching. Any last words? Bye, guys. Yeah. Nope. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.